here are the four times tables on the times tables chart. Six times four is 24. And what they look like on the number chart. To multiply a number by four, we can double that number twice. Looking at six times four doubled twice, we don't have to hold it in our head if we write things down. I'm going to replace four with two times two because they have the same value. Then I'll replace six times two with 12 and bring down that two. Okay, how to double 12? Let's rearrange 12 as 10 and two. So to double it, 10 and 10 are 20, two plus two is four. We've got 24. Now with just numbers, if you can picture the digits in your mind, you can see we can double them that way too. 10 and 10 are 20, two and two is four, 24. Let's go bigger, seven times four. Doubling seven gets us 14. Rearrange. 14 plus 14 is 28. Seven times four is 28. Either dots or digits, it comes out great. Eight times four is a little trickier. 10 and 10 are 20. Six and six are 12. So we have to add the 12 to 20. We can say 20 plus 10 is 30, and then two more is 32. That's one way to do it. Another way is start with knowing that double eight is 16. And let's rearrange that 16 to look like this, 5, 10, 15, 16. 16 plus 16, well, 10 plus 10 is 20. 5 plus 5 is 10, 1 and 1 is 2. So 15 and 15 are 30, plus 2 is 32. You might also know that 15 plus 15 is 30 from looking at some kinds of clocks. 15 minutes, a quarter hour, plus another 15 minutes is 30 minutes, a half an hour. And 16 times 2 is one group of two more, 32. The more you practice, the more you can do. Nine times four is even trickier, but here's a way to look at it. 10 times four is 40. If we lose one of those groups of four and back up to 36, nine times four is 36. And the next group of times tables we're gonna learn are the nines with yet another way to get there. Multiplying by four, multiply by two twice, double, double. Practice these, and next up are the nines, the legal stuff.